I need the book! Oh, I was like, oh, is it a show? Hey, we are Story Phantom, and by we, I mean me. Yeah, that's right, little old me today. So uh, I'm here on my own to watch the preview for the new Dresden Files book coming out called Battlegrounds. I am so excited because I love Jim Butcher. I'm going to get into all that in a second. Before I go any further, I have to talk to you about subscribing. Now, please, don't, don't click away. I get it. You hate this, YouTube people. Blah, 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 subscribe to my channel. Blah, 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 blah. I get it. I do. Trust me. But the point of starting a channel is to get our names out there. We are writers. I am working on a novel. My wife has actually published a couple of short stories. I haven't, but I'm. You know, the point is we want to have a base of people who enjoy, you know, the things we enjoy. And maybe interested in buying a book. So here we are, YouTube channel. So we'd like to get more subscribers. So, when we hit the 250 subscriber mark, we are going to go ahead and release a video called Poop Cookies. Yeah, I know. You heard me, though. I just said the words poop and cookies. And if you want to know what that's all about, well, then I guess you don't have to subscribe. We're also in that same we're going to talk about the sequel to Poop Cookies. It has a sequel. Poop Cookies 2, Drop and Trow. Both of those stories... One video, 250 subscribers. So, if you're interested, please go ahead and subscribe. Now, the entire point of our channel is that we are writers. So you think we do more book reviews, but we haven't. Because as a writer, I, between writing my own story, and working a full-time job, and doing this channel, and, you know, being a parent and not ignoring my children, I don't have the time to read anymore. But for this, I will find time. I love Jim Butcher. He is right on up there with my top writers. I mean, my top authors. Whatever. I'm sorry. I'm just combined I'm so excited right now. I mean, he's up there with David Eddings. David Eddings being an author who inspired me to become an author. And Jim Butcher being the only other author I know of that when I see his name, I buy the book. Hands down. I will read that book. I don't care if it's Codex Alera. I don't care if it's one of his numerous short stories or an actual Dresden file book. If I see it, <laughs> Jim Butcher's name on it, I'm going to buy it because I love his work. For a lot of the same reason why I like David Edding's work, they both of them have so much dry, sarcastic wit to the writing. Sometimes the characters are sarcastic. Like, let's be honest, David Edding's characters, Silk, Belgareth, the entire Belgareth, the Malloran, and even this, you know... Ah, oh, man, I can't remember the names of the sequels now that had Sparhawk and everything. All those, all those writing books. The one thing these characters always are, are sarcastic, usually to each other. Jim Butcher's writings, especially, you know, Harry Dresden, which, by the way, I am from Chicago, so it's really awesome reading about a superhero, well, wizard, whatever, awesome, powerful guy from Chicago. That's always great. But, you know... He is the same thing. Sometimes it's, you know, Dresden being witty. Sometimes people being witty to Dresden. Sometimes it's just kind of a dry humor of what horrible situations Dresden has gotten into. And I love it. I love the Codex Alera. Same sort of thing. I love Jim Butcher's writing. And so, I am super excited for this. I am. But I'm also the only one in the house that reads Jim Butcher. Because my wife likes to read female main character books. And my son... Well, you know, I try and suggest a book to him. He looks at me like I grew a second head. And my daughter is seven, so right now she's anything beyond, like, Dr. Seuss, P uh, Piggy and Gerald. Nah, nothing. But anyway, back on track. Battleground. I am so excited. <sighs> okay. We're going to flip flat of feet. Do I have a dog? Dog cameo in this? We have a doggo cameo? We have a doggo cameo. This is the second member of Story Phantom. Uh, so we got two two fists here. And he's now off screen. Why do you lay down? That's not a cameo. They can't see you on the camera. Hmm? Nothing? You're going to watch it with me? I mean, we'll put it here. I'm using the headphones. Oh, okay. You're very offended. I'm sorry. All right. Anyway, pop open the reaction window. Wow. And let's go ahead and get started. Look how far you've fallen. Wait. What's going on, Harry? An apocalypse. 
apocalypse? Sort of. <gasps> Wait, is this not a book? Is this some sort of show? I have watched holy place after holy place fall oh, to the mortals. Please tell me this is a show. They dare to go where is they this a show? Never or is this fan made? I mean, I found it on the on the on the, on the, 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 the butcher thing on Twitter. It shows you for times precisely such as these. What an elemental of destruction is what is most needed. The monsters are coming. They're gonna kill everyone in this town if they can, unless we kill them first. Come on! That creature cannot protect you. I cannot see that was, was Karen justice. Each of here. the divine here must choose. God, mom, the daughter. Or right? oh, that's, Murphy. <laughs> that's Murphy. No, no doubt. <laughs> um, God, why can't I remember her name? Eldest daughter became the summer lady. What is going on? Can you fight? Watch me. I need the book! Oh, I was like, oh, is it a show? Could it be a show? I'm going to be honest. I first found Dresden Files through the show. I mean, and it, and I, I love the show so much that I looked up the books. And the books were even... Spot the cameo. Wait, he was in there? I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh. Okay. Mr. Butcher, Jim, that was a great, a great book trailer. Like, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a book. <sighs> so this is usually the part where I make a review, because, you know, Reaction Channel, we're also writing back to the reviews, but I am so excited. Can we bring back a show? I mean, I thought they did a good job. I mean, yeah, they changed things. You know, Murphy was, um, I don't remember what they changed her name to. Um, but she was, you know, she was no longer a blonde, you know, detective. She was, um, Latinx, which is fine. I mean, she was awesome. She was my first Murphy. Um, and then, you know, Bob was, you know, just a little skinny guy. And I don't care. Like, people have so many complaints. They've complained. They've complained about Murphy being a different character from the show. They've complained about how Bob wasn't just a skull. He was a skinny British guy. They've complained about the fact that his stick was a hockey stick instead of a, a stab. I don't, I don't care. I love the show. I love the books. I do love that you can tell. I think Jim um, had more input in this because every book cover, Harry wears a hat. But Harry never wears a hat in the show. I mean, not in the show. He doesn't wear a hat in the books. He never does. That's his thing. So why would he want to wear a hat? But <laughs> they always have him in a hat in every single one of the book covers. And I'm so excited. It's been so long. I can't even remember all the names right now. I'm trying to remember the name of Michael Carpenter's daughter who became the, the witch that could, well, I guess wizardess or whatever. The magic user who could tamper with people's mind and she was going to be killed like Harry was going to be killed and Harry was going to win. And eventually she became the summer, the winter lady. Um, and I can't remember her name for the life of me and it's annoying me. And as soon as I stopped this video... Then I'll remember. But was that her there at one point with the eyes? And was that... Was that Summer that, you know... Titania, was that her name? I, it has been so long, I don't have a chance to read anymore. I've got to read you all those books. I can try to do audiobooks because I, I drive for a living, but... It's hard to find audiobooks. I don't have the money to both have bought the books and to buy the audiobooks. Um, I can find some of them in the library, but... I can't afford Audible. Ah, I'm still going to buy that book when it comes out. Man. That, that, was, that was pretty awesome. Um, I'm excited. Are you excited, Max? No. You're not going to talk. Nothing. You can't be super intelligent. Mouse is super intelligent. He's also about five times bigger than you are. Probably not as cute either. 
Anyway. <sighs> like our content, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget, 250 subscribers. That will be when we get our uh, brand new video out that is not really brand new. We've already filmed it, that's the point. Uh, poop cookies. Um, we have a Twitter, which is how I found this video. We have um, a Facebook. We do not have a Discord. Uh, depending on what fandoms you are a part of, you may be surprised to find us in a Discord, but we don't have our own. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully with my family instead of just by my lonesome. You know, Max will see you then too. Right, Max? Ugh! I'm gonna say bye. Are you gonna at least look at the camera? Look, camera, camera. Look at the camera. Look at the. You are just determined to be contrary right now, aren't you? All right. Well, thank you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed.